All right, everyone, good morning. Today's video is going to be a house trap replacement. Uh, actually, we're gonna remove it all together. We're not gonna replace it. These have fallen out of favor and they're no longer required by code where we are. They are in some places, but not here. So we were here about a month ago for a sewer line backup. We came here and cleared this house trap out. That was where the blockage was and they do cause quite a few blockages due to the nature of them being mostly made of cast iron. Uh, they get rough on the inside and then stuff gets caught in there and that causes a backup. So we're gonna get rid of it. We're going to make a cut right there. We're gonna get rid of this PVC. We're gonna run four inch ABS back to that combo that's over there and we're gonna get rid of the fresh air vent. So a few cuts, probably gonna make one there. Um, smash this, take that fern co off make another cut right here and then we'll start getting the um, hub of that fitting all cleaned out ready to go we got the fresh air vent removed all that's remaining is the grate we made a cut there and a cut if you can imagine the pipe right there kind of just slid this out and push this over now we got to get a little bit more precise because I have to save this hub so I have to make a cut here I'll probably chisel out some of this concrete then I can get the saws all in there and try to cape out what's left of this piece of cast iron and hopefully save the hub so I can get the cast iron gasket in there to run the new four inch plastic. The house trap has been cut free. Looks like they recently had rice. We're gonna remove that. And then my goal as always when it comes to removing these is to make a cut and make a cut at the like 12 and three in this case chip that piece out and then the rest should just kind of cave in on itself. I should be able to remove it and clean that up. The next step is to take the Sawzall, make a cut right here. This is larger than the size of the rest of this combination fitting, or I guess this is a TY. Um, so a regular Fernco or Husky band won't fit over that because it's bigger than the pipe size, which is about four and a quarter inches. This is gonna connect down there when we're done. So I'm gonna make a flush cut clean up the cast iron with the angle grinder and then we can get a fern co over there and it'll make a nice smooth transition. We got the cast iron out as well as the lead and oakum. The hub looks really good. So the hubs are pretty strong. I'm gonna jinx myself by saying this, but you have to hit it pretty freaking hard in the wrong spot to get one of these to break. As long as you're hitting just the cast iron that's inside here, you're usually pretty safe. Obviously there's always a risk, but um, you're pretty safe with doing that. So. We got all the old stuff out, now we're gonna take the wire wheel on the drill and we're gonna hit that and clean it up as good as we can and prep it up for our new cast iron gasket. What is this? What is what? We got our starter piece in a cast iron gasket. It always is a struggle getting these in here because cast iron and ABS are not the exact same size. Different manufacturers of cast iron make different wall thicknesses, different outside diameters. It didn't really matter back in the day because they would fill in the voids with lead and oakum. So if there were small deviations in the pipe size, it wasn't a big deal. But now it is because the ABS is the same size no matter what all the time. So we had to use our digging bar. We chiseled a little slot in the floor and used leverage to pry this in with a sledgehammer, but she's in. And that is it folks, job complete. Four inch clean out, four inch cast iron gasket with a four inch Y. Then we ran it back all the way over to here to the existing cast iron. There's some existing problems here as well. That copper 90 there drips when the toilet is flushed, but that's uh, below the grade, which is gonna be a real bear to fix. So that's a job for another day. Here's our four inch Husky all tightened up. We run out to the building sewer outside. Thanks for watching.